Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we will understand how to carry out two-way ANOVA in Excel. Two-way ANOVA is a statistical technique used to analyze the influence of two categorical independent variables on a continuous dependent variable. The two categorical independent variables are also known as factors. The main objective of two-way ANOVA is to examine the main effects of each independent variable and the second is the interaction effect between the two independent variables. Let's try to understand this concept in Excel workbook. In this data, we are having in the column the type of the water and in the rows we are having the detergent. The type of water is cold, warm and hot and uh, detergent types are detergent A and detergent B. Now we, we are trying to measure the purity of whiteness or rather the whiteness of the cloth on the scale of 1 to 20. So if we are using different types of water, what is the uh, whiteness of cloth on 1 to 20 and according to the detergent. So there will be three hypotheses. The first one, there is no significant difference in the whiteness of the cloth according to the type of the water. The second hypothesis is there is no significant difference in the whiteness of the cloth according to the according to the detergent. And the third one is there are no interaction effects, which, which means that when we use particular type of water with a particular detergent, does the whiteness increase or not? So this is known as a combination, also known as the interaction effects. Now, this is uh, something known as a two-way ANOVA, where we are measuring the effect, like, see, I'll color it. So, this is the first one. The second effect is row-wise, like this. And the third one is the interaction effects. So, this is the interaction effects, okay? So, Let's carry out the analysis. We'll have to act, we'll have to activate the data analysis tool pack. So we'll go in file, options, click on headings, analysis tool pack, go, analysis tool pack, make sure it is click OK. Now you click in data. Now the data analysis tab will appear. Click on it. Activate two factor with a replication. Click OK. I'll remove this and we will do it again so that you can understand. Select on input a uh, click here, activate the input range. Now select the range rows per sample. Okay. Just see in detergent A. How many rows are there? One, two, three, four. And detergent B, one, two, three, four. So rows per sample is four. Uh, click OK. The results have appeared. Now let's try to understand these results. I'll... So detergent, uh, sorry, we start with the water, cold water. Uh, average is 5. We are working on the scale of 1 to 20. Means the higher the scale, higher is the whiteness of the cloth. Warm water, 9. Hot 10.5 for detergent A. Now the same thing for detergent B. Detergent B average cold is 5, warm 13, and hot 12. The interesting thing is that when the combination is of detergent B with the warm water, see the average, it is 13. And the combination of detergent A with cold water. The average is 5. It means that the combination of detergent A with cold water does not give the white uh, good whiteness of cloth. And the detergent B with warm water gives very good whiteness. Now this is a table from which we will have to do the interpretation. I have copied this table in the word file and now we will write the interpretation. We'll start with the hypothesis. There is no significant difference in the whiteness of cloth according to the type of water. 
The second null hypothesis is there is no significant difference in whiteness of cloth according to the type of the detergent. And the third one is there are no interaction effects. This table I already explained. Now you have to uh, give the interpretation according to this p-value. All these p-values are less than 0 0.05. So what will be our interpretation? As the p-value is less than 0 0.05, so we reject null hypothesis, which means that there is a significant difference in whiteness of cloth according to the type of water, type of detergent, and the interaction effects are also present. So this was all about how to carry out two-way ANOVA in Excel. For more videos on Excel, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can also refer my playlist in which I have uploaded tutorials on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also follow me on different social medias link given in the description box.